Hey guys, so our logout is all in order. What I want to work on next is forgot password. So we're going to start off with a new module, creating a new fol folder called forgot password. Now forgot password is kind of interesting. We can still copy over the usual bits. Um, but the interesting part about it is we're actually going to have two mutations. There's two parts to this. And lastly, paste over a test. Okay. And the three or the two parts. Um, the first part is actually sending an email. So send forgot password email. And to do this, I just need to have your email, which will be a string. And this is mandatory. And then I return a boolean, true or false, whether that worked. Um, Again, we're going to need to have query. We do not need uh, the error type for this, I do not think. Um, actually, we might need the error type uh, for this next thing. Uh, this is dummy too. And the next thing is um, change password or forgot password change. I guess that's what I want to call it. And this is the actual changing of the password. And to actually change the password, you have to give us a new password. So that'll be a string, that's mandatory. And then you'll also give us a key, which is a string and that's mandatory as well. And the reason why you're giving us a key as well is when we send you the email, we're gonna send you um, something a unique ID that we store in Redis and this ID um, correlates to your user ID so that way when you send us a new forgot password change we know um, a who your user is um, and two that that ID that we sent you you're the person that we sent you the email so basically we need to know that the ID that we sent to your email you are able to access and you basically give us that ID back now this will make more sense when we actually do it. Um, and then at the very end here, we might be given a bad password back, right? So we have to you know, use all the same rules that we use for creating a password for our register. And uh, which is just this. <laughs> so we need to make sure this is uh, the same so we can copy that bit. But we'll worry about that in a second. So this is it, and we're gonna return an error back, possibly an array of errors. And all right, so in our resolver, I'm gonna call this dummy2, and sure, we're fine saying that. So why don't we work on the first one first? The first one is send forgot password uh, email, and. I actually think I'm trying to decide whether it would be easier if I actually just sent the email or if I uh, or if I write the test for it first. I don't think we're going to actually send the email cuz to do this whole thing, we really need a front end where you can type in your new password. All right, I've decided what we'll do is forgot password. The test is I want to write the test first. I think that'll make um, just everything a lot easier. Okay, so I guess our test is actually going to be more like log out, I guess. So do I want to copy that one? Um, no, this is fine. Okay, so don't need that. Don't need that for now. And first thing that we're going to do is, do we need a user for this? We do, because we're going to need to uh, forget his password. Yeah, why don't we just copy log out? It's going to be very similar to that one. So we'll delete that old test. And I need to save that real quick. Okay. Forgot password dot test. All right, so we first create our user and we're going to describe forgot password. So I think we're only really going to have one test for this. All right, so this test is 
I guess make sure it works. <laughs> like it's all, I guess I don't know what to say for the test because we're just it's gonna be a one and we're just checking whether I forgot password works or not. We could probably give this a better name, but that's fine for now. Alrighty, so first things first, let's create a client. And we do not have forgot password and uh, whatnot in our client. So let's add that to our test client real quick. Um, and we're not actually gonna end up doing the send email one or at least calling that. So I'm not gonna worry about that, but we will do the forgot password change. And here we're gonna have to get the new password which is a string, and the key, which is also a string. So this is gonna be a mutation. This is going to be forgot, password, change, new password, pass in our new password, and then also our key. And then we expect to get possibly error back so I would like to get the path and the message back from these errors. All right. So first thing that I'd like to do is to call our initiate the forgot password. And to initiate forgot the password, uh, we would call this function. And what the send forgot password email is, is it's very similar to our create conf uh, create confirm email link um, where we are going to create something an ID we store it in Redis then we send them an email with this link so we can copy this paste it and I'm going to call this um, create forgot password um, link I guess is the best way to say it so create forgot password link. So we're going to take in a URL, user ID, Redis. Now the URL for this one is actually going to correspond to the front end because we actually want to redirect the user to the front end so they can type in their new password there. So change password. So this is actually going to be a route on our um, React application when we build it, and they're going to basically grab the ID from the um, URL, and then that's what they're going to send us as the key. Um, so we'll create this, and I think I want to add do the basically the exact same thing. I like the time limit, or only letting them do it for 24 hours, um, and it expires. We're storing the user ID. The only thing I want to change is I want to pass in a prefix which I think I probably should have done with the other one too I like the idea of the prefix all right so forgot password prefix forgot we'll just call it yeah forgot password I don't mind making it a little bit lengthy all right and then basically our resolver for um, our resolver over here. I, I guess we'll go over what our resolver do in a little bit. Let's finish writing over writing the test. So the first thing is we're gonna create forgot password, passing in the URL. Uh, in this case, we can just do an empty string because we don't really care. Well, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can just do an empty string because we don't care about that. The user ID is going to be the user ID up there. And then Redis is going to be, I guess let's create a Redis instance up here in case we want to reuse it. Um, sorry, we don't want Redis client, we just want Redis. Actually, we do want a Redis client. I forgot that's how you actually create a Redis client. Actually, no, it's not. I forgot how to actually create a Redis instance. We can just copy what we did here. Okay, I, I figured it was something like this. The autocomplete was just throwing me off. Okay. 
and then lastly pass in Redis. So what this will return is the URL and we can get the key by saying url.split I'm going to split by slashes and let's see it's just the last one so parts const key is going to be equal to parts and then parts.length minus one so we're getting the last part which is the key in that url so now I guess what I would like to do is we have this user um, in the database what I want to do is change his password so that was his password I'm gonna say new password is equal to this totally new thing okay so now I'd like to call um, change new password we're gonna pass in our key um, the other thing I guess I could try real quick is as soon as we call create forgot password link um, we also want to log out that user which I guess we can put in our resolver or we'll, we'll worry about that part when we do the resolver I guess I guess we won't test that part at least right now so we'll go ahead and call client dot forgot password change passing in our new password and the key is key. So we'll await that and we'll see if that let us. So we'll look at the response. We expect the response dot data to equal. So this should be an object and the object should uh, have a key with the same name and it should just be null because it should work. So now I should be able to say client dot login uh, email new password and then I should be able to say client dot me and this should be equal to And what this should be equal to is an object that has me. Well, I guess it has data. So data, me, inside of me, we're going to get the email and the ID, which is the user ID, which we have up there. Okay, we expect to get these details back. But the whole spiel is that the login uh, does work. So I guess we should say expect uh, that as well. I guess we don't really need to do this whole me part. I guess we could just expect what this should equal um, to equal. And then inside of here, we should have data. And then inside of that, we should have login. And that should be null, AKA it worked. So I guess this is our test for it. And we have this thing that is changing the uh, create forgot password link. The other part that I kind of want to test, but I'm not sure how I want to write the test for it um, with all this, is that I want to um, also forget, not forget, but log out the user before I do this. Like if someone does forget password, they should not be um, able to log in anymore uh, because maybe they're getting hacked or whatnot they should basically have their well okay I don't know if I should lock their account I need to double check OWASP on this and see what they recommend so as soon as you start forgot password should you lock their account um, and then the next question is should you log them out of all the places and I think you probably should log them out of all the places when they um, when you, they initiate. I'm not sure if it's when they initiate or when the password is actually changed. They should be logged out of all places. Um, I'm going to check OWASP and see what they say. Uh, I think I'm going to stop the video here. Um, 
and then the next video what we'll do is we'll actually implement the resolvers for how this is going to work so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching